Abortion could become illegal in more than half the country if Roe v. Wade is struck down. That means 40 million women wouldn't have access to an abortion if they needed one. And many states won't even provide exceptions for rape and incest. Even places where it's still legal could eventually be at risk. Here's what the overturn would mean for the rest of the country. 26 states are likely to ban abortion. 13 of them could do it through trigger laws that were designed to automatically outlaw abortion if Roe is reversed. 84% of lawmakers who sponsored them are men. Trigger laws vary from state to state. South Dakota passed one of the strictest laws in 2005. It would prohibit abortion at all stages of pregnancy, and it would take effect immediately after a Roe reversal. Texas and Tennessee have trigger bans that would start 30 days after Roe v. Wade is overturned. Both bans have exceptions if the mother's life is at risk, but not in cases of rape or incest. Idaho's trigger law only allows abortions if rape or incest are reported to law enforcement first. These bans surfaced during the Trump administration, when the Senate confirmed three conservative judges to the Supreme Court, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett. America has a pro-life president, a pro-life vice president, a pro-life House of Representatives. 94% of the senators who voted to confirm the justices were Republican. Another way states can restrict or ban abortions is through pre-Roe laws, or laws that were passed before 1973 and never removed. Nine states have them, including Alabama, Arizona, and Michigan. Arizona's pre-Roe law was drafted in the late 1800s. It calls for mandatory prison time for abortion providers. Alabama's is similar. Both states provide exceptions if the mother's life is at risk. With an overturn of Roe, these laws could be revived. There are also four states that experts say are primed to outlaw abortion. Florida, Indiana, Montana, and Nebraska. Florida passed a 15-week abortion ban set to take effect July 1st. And Indiana has passed 55 abortion restrictions and bans in the last decade. These types of laws aren't mutually exclusive. Some states with trigger bans also have pre-roll laws in effect. And then there are nine states, including Alabama and Georgia, that have post-Roe restrictions. These were passed after 1973, but were blocked by courts for violating Roe v. Wade. They could be put into effect with a court order if Roe falls. As it stands now, Texas is the only state with a six-week ban that's currently in effect. Banning abortions would impact 58% of women of reproductive age, especially Black and Hispanic women. Studies show that they get abortions at higher rates than other groups. These communities also experience higher poverty. The real victims then, the poor and the very young. Which means they'd be less likely to travel out of state for the procedure. So where would it still be legal? 16 states and the District of Columbia currently protect the right to abortion, and they're expected to see an influx of out-of-state patients. California plans to become a sanctuary state. Illinois and Colorado will likely see more patients too, since they are surrounded by states that would ban the procedure. Some states are even trying to criminalize abortion for its residents. A recent measure in Missouri would allow private citizens to sue anyone who offers an abortion or who helps a pregnant woman get an abortion, even if it happens outside of the state. And Louisiana lawmakers have advanced a bill that could lead to abortion patients being charged with murder. Policies like this make the future of abortion rights in America very uncertain, with the nation extremely divided on this issue.